Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, once again, congratulations to Canelo Alvarez on defeating Caleb Plant via knockout and becoming undisputed super middleweight champion and solidifying himself in the history books. You know, I got a lot more Canelo talk to talk about, you know, um, especially how he's going to be forever tied to Floyd, you know, so... Um, I'm gonna break that down too, but this is just real talk. You know, um, I've said this before and I stand by what I say to me, it's a neck and neck battle. It's a back and forth battle with Terrence Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez for number one pound per pound. I don't give a damn what Marco say. I don't give a damn what Ellie setback say. I don't give a damn what nobody else say. This is my channel. This is how I feel. To me, Terrence Crawford and Canelo are neck and neck. Bud has already been undisputed. If we going to celebrate Canelo becoming undisputed and that's such a big deal, well, then when Bud did it about, what, three years ago, then that should have been celebrated. But at the end of the day, it's funny. You have not just Hispanic people, because I expect them for the most part to hate on black fighters because that's what they've been doing since I've been on YouTube. But then you got a lot of black content creators that try to tear down Terrence Crawford because a lot of them are Errol Spence nut huggers. And some of them are just, you know, handkerchief heads, you know, that have or they just have personal vendettas against Terrence Crawford. But like I said, I debunked a lot of the, the falsehoods that was said about Terrence Crawford, about he don't mess with black media and all that kind of stuff. So. That's already been debunked and already exposed the clowns that was putting that out there. And I just want to tell you, ask me, do I give a fuck about you being mad at me? I don't give a damn if you don't want to talk to me. I don't give a damn if you don't want to have nothing to do with me. I really don't because I never needed none of you niggas anyway. So whoever think I'm talking to them, if you think I'm talking to you, then I'm talking to you. Because this needed to be said. Okay. Real talk. Now, let's get back to Canelo and Bud. Like I said, it's a battle for number one pound per pound. Like I said, in two weeks, Bud will take on Sean Porter, um, which will be, for the most part, according to you guys, that's going to be his toughest fight. Which is going to be a great fight. Because it could go either way. Based off Sean's rugged, aggressive style. It could pose some problems for Terrence Crawford. Like I said, may the best man win. If Sean beats Bud, then Sean, you know, Sean, like, basically, like, man, his name... Just like his name just and his popularity just skyrockets because, you know, Sean has always been known as a quiet guy. You know, he just come there to fight and that's just pretty much it, you know. But when the bell rings, he, he gives it all. He comes in there to fight. You know, sometimes you may not like Sean's fighting style, but at the end of the day, he tries to win. He does whatever it takes to win. And I can appreciate that. And if you look at all of Sean's losses, this is just real talk. Sean has just never been flat out dominated in any of his losses. He's had his moments in all of his fights. You know, a round or two. Sean could still be undefeated. You know, that's just real talk. So you look at, you know, I'm just keeping it a buck. So this is going to be a tough fight for Bud coming up. Going to be a tough fight for Sean. That's why I'm saying this is going to be a good fight. And y'all need to check it out via ESPN pay-per-view. Or if you in Las Vegas, come see the fight personally. You know, the tickets are reasonable. So come check it out. That's just real talk. But most people believe that Bud is at least top three, top t top two, even number one. I think if Bud 
beat Sean Porter. And depending on how he beats Sean Porter, if Bud becomes the first person to stop Sean Porter, then Bud, you can make an argument that Bud is number one. See, that's what I need to tell y'all. Don't come telling me what somebody else said on their channel. You know why? Because I don't care. That's them. Okay? That's them. How they think isn't necessarily how I think. They're entitled to their opinion, just like I'm entitled to mine. I'm not here to be your friend, and I'm not going to say what you want me to say because it makes you happy because you may not, you know, be a bud uh, a Bud Crawford fan or you may not even be a Canelo fan I'm just telling you the truth from my perspective I feel it's out of Bud and Canelo for that number one spot and there's nobody that's that you can throw in there that can either be number one or number two besides Bud or or Canelo Alvarez now Uslik He's getting close based off what he did with Anthony Joshua. If this dude goes in there and he defeats Anthony Joshua and then uh, he lock horns with Tyson Fury and he finds a way to beat Tyson Fury, then, then Uslik is in that argument as well, but not quite. In New Way, still got a ways to go. I don't even have him in the top five, and I think it's appalling that some people are trying to put him in the top five. Hasn't done enough, you know. So, like I said before, as far as that number one spot go, it's out of Canelo or Terrence Bud Crawford. Take your pick. For real, no disrespect to me or to any of the subs. Let's talk like adults. No name calling. Like I said, I swear to God, if you come on here talking crazy, I'm a, when I say I'm going to evaporate your ass, it's going to be nasty. And it's not going to be pretty. And I'm not going <laughs> to be sorry what I'm going to say. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.